G'day, my name's Darrell Webb. Today we're going to have a look at the Olight Arcfield Pro um, and we're going to do compare it to the Olight Arcfield UV, which is my daily carry. Um, in this video we'll, just go, we'll show some beam shots, we'll go over its stats and that quickly and I'll just show you the difference between the two and um, do some pros and cons and if it's worth the upgrade. Anyway, let's get into that. Okay, when you receive this, it's in this little box, I have had this open, I have been using this for about a week and a half. Um, let's give it a quick little thing over its specs. So turbo is 1300 lumens and it has 102 meters of throw. High is 420 lumens, 62 meters of throw. Medium is 100 lumens, 29 meters of throw. Low is 15 lumens, 11 meters. Moonlight is one lumen, two meters. Um, there are some of the run times there. They're up to, uh, on turbo, I go for four minutes, that's, then it drops down to 420 lumens for 126 minutes. So medium is one I find I use a lot, um, 100 lumens and um, I'll give you 9 hours and 45 minutes, so there's some really good run times on there. Um, the UV light is 900 slash 560 milliwatt. The wavelength is 365 nanometers, and it will run 5 minutes on the 900, and then drop down to the 560 for 310 minutes. Um, weight's 111 grams. The batch is a 1500 milliamp hour, so uh, it's a good run time on that. Uh, well, what does it say at the top? Arcfield Pro is a portable EDC flashlight with three light sources, white light, UV light, and a green pointer. The amazing output white light is able to light up every corner you can see. The UV light helps to detect pet urine stains on carpets that are invisible to the naked eye, and it's perfect for hotel cleanliness checking. The green pointer, a good help when holding a presentation or amusing your pets, it also featured in the flashlight. Finally, its unique flat shape makes it easy to carry in your pocket. 100% agree with that last line. All right, so this one's in cool white. Obviously, you can get it there in neutral white as well. So here's the light itself. Uh, so read me there, that's the lockout feature. Uh, safety warnings, user manual, and MCC charger. Okay, so basically you've got a three-way switch and a battery indicator on the front there. Um, a nice belt clip, a good solid one actually on this one, a bit better than what's on the Olight UV, the Arcfeld UV. This one's a bit more. So the cool colour temperature is 5700 to 6700K. Alright, so pretty much, press it on, you've got UV. You got a laser, you got a laser pointer you can turn on and off. And then you go to torch, they pretty much turn on, it's got a memory, whatever you're at last. If you hold it in, it'll just uh, round robin, so it's low medium high low medium high and if you double click it's got turbo which is actually bright and kicks out a fair bit of heat um, I do also like I said you can put the laser on and you can double click and get the torch happening as well so if you need torch and laser it does work like that um, you can hold it in the locket out as well the little battery indicator there is nice uh, four bars very very simple little setup um, we'll turn that laser off and um, as I said, the laser pointer is handy for some things. I wish it was a little bit brighter, but uh, it's not. And that's what's in the packet. Okay, so I'm just going to put the UV lights on. I'm going to do the Arkfeld UV on the left. And then you can sort of see it there. And I'm going to do the Arkfeld Pro on the right. As you can see, the UV on the Pro is a lot brighter. I said Arkfeld UV on the left, Arkfeld Pro on the right. We'll, uh, the Arcfeld Pro will start it off on its low setting. See if you can actually see that or not. Just wave it left to right, left to right. It's quite a big hot spot. Alright, now we'll go to medium. Let me set it there. We'll go high. That fence there is at uh, 25 meters. And then we'll hit turbo. You see that's quite bright. Just to put that in a comparison, I'll put the uh, Arcfeld UV on. I'll put that on low, medium, high. That's it there, that's the Arcfeld UV. I'll go turbo. That's it on turbo. And then we'll go to the Arcfeld Pro again and go straight to turbo. As you can see there, a lot of difference in output. Pros and cons. Um, well, I guess the, the main feature is that now it's got a stronger UV light and it also has a laser pointer. I do like, as a big pro, is the fact that you can have the laser pointer on and then you can just double tap and you can get the light on at the same time. Um, 
Other pros are the fact that you get a lot more runtime and brightness compared to the Arcfield UV for not a great deal of difference in length and not a great deal of difference in depth. Um, weight, it's only a little bit heavier, but um, the, the extra brightness and the, um, the extra runtime is more than make up for it. Uh, cons, I couldn't sort of really feel any. Maybe if anything, maybe I would have liked a laser pointer to be a bit brighter. It's good indoors, um, but outside the daylight, it's, it's hard to sort of see. But I guess you don't use torches in the daylight much. And that was pretty much about it. It's kept over lots of the things that I liked about the uh, the UV. That um, you know, it's still got a, a UV light um, that is quite nice and bright, brighter, a lot brighter. Um, and it's also got, as I said, the uh, the extra run times and the extra power. Um, Sometimes I sort of found with the with the uh, the UV that um, I normally only use it on like medium, but every now and then you might hear something in a noise or whatever, and you just want to see a bit further. And it just the turbo on this just left, just needed a tiny bit more. Like I could live with it, but um, the turbo on this just had been a bit, bit, bit brighter, so uh, has, has made a difference. That's it for the pros and cons. Conclusion: um, Is it worth the upgrade? For me, yes. Uh, I originally didn't think I'd actually like this style, the flat light sort of they didn't do much for me. I usually carried a Warrior Mini 2 and um, that was probably my favourite. But um, after I actually got my hands on this and carried it, it just disappears in your pocket. It's more like carrying a flat pocket knife than it is carrying a torch. So in the end I just carry this. This one lives in my in my pocket um, seven days a week, you know, 365 days a year. Ever since I've had it, it's there every day. Um, now I will be carrying this one. This one will get relegated to a backup and I will carry this one. Its size is just not that much bigger to notice, um, but the extra brightness and runtime is well worth the upgrade in my opinion. Um, and the UV light really stands out being a lot brighter. The UV lights are much more, um, much more usable. So yeah, conclusion. Yes, I'm going to keep this one. Yes, I'm going to use this one. This one now will be my new daily carry. All right, sale. Of course, it wouldn't be an Olight video without them having a sale. So I'll go this quickly. Um, starts 8 p.m. on the 25th of the 10th and goes through to 11.59 p.m. on the 27th of the 10th Australian Eastern Daylight Savings Time. Um, Arcfield Pro up to 40% off, $108.46. I'll put links in there for that. Um, also, if you're watching this later or if there's something else uh, that's not on sale, use the code OA10 and that will give you a 10% discount and um, offer everything pretty much except, I think, the X9R Marauder, the big guy. Uh, so that's about it. Uh, yeah, conclusion. I like it, and this will be my new daily carry. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, and uh, if you want to see more stuff like this, and some hunting, and some fishing videos soon, only fishing time, then um, hit the subscribe button. Okay, bye for now.